there, welcome to the robot program. I'm Professor E. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can access the RoboScratch workspace using your mobile device. Easy Builder can be accessed on PC, but you can also load it up on your tablet or your mobile device. So here I have an Android tablet, and I've already downloaded Easy Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and load my software. And you want to log in with your Easy Builder account. If you want to know how to download the mobile version and how to make an account, you can check out one of our other episodes. Depending on what robot you're using, you're going to access the project for that robot. I'm using JD today, but it's the same process if you're using Rolly, AdventureBot, or Six. You're going to go into Public Easy Cloud Apps, and you can either search by your robot or just click Search to see everything that's available. And I can see here that the first result I got was for JD. So you can click on this app and click download and install. And this is going to install this project to your device so you can access it in the future. Now we have a grid with six different options. Back takes us back to our account if you want to open a different project. We've got connect to connect to the robot. The remote control if you want to jump into the pre-written remote control for controlling your robot. We've got control options, RoboScratch, and Blockly. And this is how we're going to access our RoboScratch interface. First, we have to connect to our robot. So I'm going to click on Connect. So we'll start by turning our robot on. And we're going to lay it face up. And then I'm going to click on my SSID and change it to my EasyB v4 connection. Good, I'm going to click my back button. And now I can click connect. So give your robot lots of space. Perfect. Now if you're using JD, you might have to load your several profiles. You can say OK and load whatever profile you've saved. If you need to, you can create a new one specifically for your mobile device for this robot. We're going to click back. Now we can go into RoboScratch. This is our RoboScratch workspace. You can see you've got lots of different options on the left hand side. We've got our start button, which we'll use to run our code. We've got clear, so that's to clear your workspace. Load, to bring up a previously saved workspace. And save, so that you can save your code to use again in the future. We then have all of our different programming options. So you can see once I touch those options, we now have our clear workspace to start with. So this is our blank workspace. Why don't we try adding one of our blocks? Let's click action wait. And let's have JD wave. So I scroll down to wave and click OK. So I've just told him to do an auto position action, and that's going to be wave. And he's going to wait and complete the full movement before moving on if I wanted to add more to the code. So to run our code in RoboScratch, we click start. And there we go, we see him wave. In RoboScratch, you can follow along with your code by watching the yellow highlighting. And the more blocks you have, you'll actually see a green line connecting all the blocks. So if I add another action, you can see that there is a green line connecting the two. And that's going to show you the execution of your linear programming. The robot program has lots of activities that use RoboScratch. So check out some of our other videos, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>